local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Good morning. Starting off the day today with temperatures right now across the two state area, anywhere from the teens to the 20s. As you can see, we did have some clearing in the overnight. Not a good thing for us, though, in the situation that we've had with these areas of fog developing now. Our dew points are near the temperatures in several areas. And so as a result, visibilities have been reduced at times in spots. It's up to a mile visibility down in Washington where it was just three quarters of a mile a little bit ago. We have two mile visibility over in Robinson and Bloomington. Again, it's not that the visibility is an issue for the fog. It's that where we're seeing reduced visibility we know that sort of low hanging cloud that is fog is out there and any of that moisture settles on a road or a sidewalk or a bridge or an overpass and it can create those slick spots this morning. Winds are very light out there right now which is part of the reason that moisture will then again settle on some of these areas and it's why we're advising you until the sun comes up this morning use caution on untreated roads, side roads, bridges and overpasses. Right now though with with any wind factored in, we are seeing some wind chills out there in the teens and even a few off to the northwest. Again, where we saw a little bit more clearing initially, temperatures have fallen and it's still cold. Winds are going to start to pick up speed. Today, we're turning those winds to that southerly direction. And as we go through the night and into the day tomorrow, we're looking at wind gusts um, in some areas up to 35 miles per hour. So those winds, while they're coming in and perhaps adding a chill, are also helping helping to bring up that warmer air for us. And so as we get into the day Thursday, once again, breezy conditions, but we're starting to see the clouds then return too. Some clearing spots, as we mentioned, through these overnight hours, but clouds are going to quickly take over once again. It will be mostly cloudy today. Our attention is turning out to the west. You can see a lot of enhanced moisture as this digging low begins to build that moisture in across the nation's midsection and here at home. It's a Eventually going to lead to precipitation in the form of rain. So this morning, again, we've got a few spots that cleared overnight, but we're going to see plenty of clouds today. Some breaks in the clouds tomorrow, I think, with sunshine, but here comes the rain as we go into the day Friday. Probably going to need those umbrellas, and certainly as we go into the weekend, especially Saturday, I do think it's going to be a wet end to the year. As we get into Sunday, some showers start to press through. I think Sunday will be the drier of the two weekend days, so a dry and mild start to 2023 for us. And as of now, we really don't see any initial problems on Monday either. We continue to see this above normal pattern setting up for us and for a large part of the country now through at least January 9th, but we're starting to see a trend here of some cooler air. And I do think by mid-January, what we will experience as a mild start will eventually get back to a more normal pattern for us as we head toward the middle of the month of January. So today, again, use caution early because we do have some areas of freezing drizzle. We'll keep those clouds around. Might see some peaks in the sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures today going to get near the freezing mark. Again, we haven't seen the freezing mark since December the 19th, so it's been a while since we've at least felt that mark. 25 the low tonight and partly cloudy. Here comes the warm-up midweek on Wednesday. We're mid-40s. We're mid-50s by Thursday, but rain is likely as we end the week and for New Year's Eve. Showers expected will be dry for New Year's Day. And as we get into the start of next week, look at that temperature topping out in the upper 50s by Monday. All right. Thank you so much, Julie.